time now for uh, the brief, our weekly segment with the LA Times. This morning, we're getting an inside look into a new investigation. During five trips to Mexico, Times reporters purchased and tested 55 pills from 29 pharmacies in eight cities. They found that at least 50% of the pills were counterfeit, mimicking well known American drugs, and some came in sealed bottles. To tell us more about this is LA Times writer Carrie Blacklinger. Uh, hello, Carrie. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We really appreciate it. Um, can you take us into a deep dive of this investigation? How were you able to go about and buy these pills and then test them? Well, um, just like any tourist, Mike, we went to Mexico and we visited small pharmacy tourist areas and along the border. And we just went in and asked for pills over the counter without a prescription. Um, specifically, we mostly asked for Percocet and Adderall. And in the places that would agree to sell them without a prescription, we then brought them back and brought them back to our hotel <laughs> and um, tested them. Had tested at the lab and found that about half of the 55 pills that we tested were fake. Um, specifically, it was around 80% of the Adderall that we tested was fake, uh, mostly meth. Although mm. some one of them was MDMA ecstasy, and we found that around 30% um, of the opioids that we tested were fake, uh, mostly fentanyl. Although um, some of that one of them was buck. Yeah, it's really fascinating because you know medical tourism has really been a driver. If people go to Mexico hoping to get cheaper surgeries and then find drugs there that they may not be able to get in this country or may not be able to afford in this country. But when you hear that it's meth and fentanyl that you're getting instead of some of the, the prescription drugs, it's very, very scary. I know you guys broke this story several months ago. Can you tell us what's changed as you've been following up on this? Yeah, so when we initially started writing about this, we had focused our testing on a few cities in Northwest Mexico. So we looked at Tijuana and um, Los Cabos. And then after we initially wrote that story, we decided to go back and see if this was happening more broadly. So this time around, we went to a total of eight cities and we tried to get all over the country. So we did uh, Tulum, Cozumel, Playa del Carmen, uh, Nuevo Progreso, which is on the Texas border. Um, and Puerto Vallarta, and then of course the three cities that we did the first time. And we did find that this is happening all over the country. It is predominantly in small independent pharmacies, although there were a couple regional chains that also seem to be doing this. And this time around, we also found some places where it was sealed bottles as opposed to individual pills. Um, most of the stores that were selling this were selling them as individual pills, but there were a few places in Puerto Vallarta and Nuevo Progreso that were selling sealed bottles that were counterfeit. Counterfeit. Wow. I mean, I, I, it's great reporting. I hope it gives people some pause before they go down, you know, either on vacation or for medical tourism or whatever the case may be, to think about what they're really getting when they're down there. Thanks so much for joining us, Carrie. We appreciate it. And we want to let people know you can read the full article by scanning the QR code on your screen. You can also find all the information for this segment on our website, kklnews.com.